This is Joseph Kelly on Sunday with his new puppy he named Speck. Kelly says it wasn't long before Speck showed signs of sickness, throwing up in a bad case of diarrhea. That led to an $1,800 trip to the vet, who told him the dog's chances of survival are slim. He paid $500 for the miniature pincher rat terrier mix after spotting an ad on Craigslist. Kelly said he met the man who was selling the puppy at a Petco parking lot in Saugus. I know, I wouldn't buy anything from Craigslist. <laughs> Jim King lives two doors down from Stephen and Layla Evans. Probably should have been reported a long time ago. You know, last summer we heard a lot of dogs out there, so we kind of suspected. When we executed the search warrant, we found 15 dogs in the house. Uh, three of which were puppies that were exhibiting signs and symptoms of parvo. Parvo is a highly contagious viral illness that affects dogs and attacks the internal organs and is often fatal unless caught early. Usually uh, puppies anywhere from six months, uh, six weeks to six months are the most at risk. Um, and it really depends on how soon they're treated. So the sooner they can get veterinarian care, the, the, the better. Police are still trying to figure out how many animals were sold while a veterinarian will examine the sick puppies within 24 hours to see if they do indeed have parvo. Meanwhile, police are looking into possible charges. Initially, it appears they, don't, they aren't licensed through the city for a uh, pet store, uh, so we'll be uh, looking further into that. Um, depending on the condition of the animals, um, that could uh, lead to charges further on down the road. We're not sure yet. Police say those possible charges range from uh, violating a civil ordinance to animal cruelty, depending on uh, what happens to those sick puppies. So we're live in Auburn right now. Jim Keithley, WMTW News 8.